I just uh, saw a video on Boston Chickie's YouTube channel, and it was called Don't Quit. It was a video about a young man by the name of Joshua, who she is trying to encourage not to quit YouTube. Now, I would just like to come here to support that statement. Uh, Joshua, don't quit. There are people out there that enjoy watching your videos. Now, I don't know what happened at YouTube because I did not know you when whatever happened, happened. Uh, but there are a lot of people out there that do like to watch your channel. Um, I'm doing this video on Boston Chickie's channel as a reply rather than yours because I feel that you might still be watching Boston Chickie's channel where you may not go back and watch your own. And that way you'll see this video. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do with YouTube while you are making this decision not to have or do any videos on your channel. You can keep the channel pretty much in limbo. I mean, just the one video that you have on there right now, just leave that video on until you make a concrete decision on what to do. Because there are going to be a lot of people that are going to remember the good times. Uh, I've gone around and I've changed my YouTube channels around a little bit. Uh, there are things you can do also, like uh, closing off comments. You can just do videos and never have a person comment again. But still, people will be able to watch your videos. Uh, you can uh, create a new channel name um, before you totally shut down the old one. And let your close friends know that, hey, this is my new channel name. Um, and I'm taking my videos that were over here and putting them over there. When I first came to YouTube in 2006, I was known as Coffee House Schmuck. And after a couple of years, I just, you know, with Facebook and all that, I just came under the determination that the word schmuck was not appropriate. Now, I still use Coffee House Schmuck on uh, uh, things like Blog TV, but as far as my YouTube channel, I changed the name of the channel by creating a new channel over to Coffee House Porcupine, took uh, all my videos and moved them over to Coffee House Porcupine, and a good bit of reply videos also. Some of the redundant reply, reply videos I got rid of, but, you know, that was just a very, very small amount. And now I'm running a little over 800 videos on the Coffeehouse Porcupine channel alone. So there are a lot of different things you can do. You can restructure your channel. You can, uh, you know, make that, you know, this channel is going to be for video replies. This channel over here might be for your vacation videos. Okay, that's what I do. I do vacation videos on uh, Coffee House on Holiday. I do sports videos on Coffee House Sports. I do vlogging on Coffee House Porcupine. And I tell stories about myself on Coffee House Stories. So I have four different channels, four different themes on each channel. And if I do a controversial video, I close the comments. So that way you don't get trolls. You can control trolls a lot better than you think you can on YouTube. And if you think about it, there are still trolls on Facebook. There are still trolls on Twitter. There are still trolls on Blog TV. There's still trolls everywhere on the Internet. So by just switching over and just doing Facebook, well, your Facebook... And a brand new YouTube pretty much can be equal. It all depends how you set the security 
on your channel. Whether you leave comments open or closed, or whether you might just want to, you know, have the comments go through you first. Uh, one thing that's nice is that uh, when you close comments, people can still contact you, but they have to contact you by sending you a PM rather than putting a comment down there. That way only your eyes see them, not everybody else's. And that's basically what I do. So I would encourage you, until you make a concrete decision on this, at least leave the channel. Don't completely shut it down. Leave the channel the way it is now with that one video on it. So that way, if you do make a decision later, you can go back to your channel. You can reorganize things. Hopefully you saved a lot of your videos. Back them up on your computer. Uh, you could even take the videos um, into a different... Um, a different mode of uh, showing them on the internet. Um, a lot of your YouTube friends, like, like you could create also a Facebook page. Like, I have a Facebook page that's called Coffeehouse Porcupine. And you know what it is? It's a reflection of my Coffeehouse YouTube channel, where my regular Facebook page is like a normal Facebook page main thing is people are still connecting with you. You still have a lot of friends out there, and they're going to enjoy your videos. Everybody has an audience. And uh, I just learned of your channel today. I'm sure I would have liked it if I would have seen it earlier. But I thank Boston Chicky for doing the initial video. I'm here to support both of you guys. Thank you for listening. Bye.